Second part is the bond pricing. Uh, this is kind of the um, review of the intro class, uh, film three, three, one class. So the value of the bond uh, has the two components. The first component is coupon, the other component is the par value. So present value of the whole coupon plus the present value of the par value will be the bond value. So mathematically, the bond value is the series of the coupons, right? And the par value. So this is series of the coupon, sum of the present value, and this is one time par value, $1,000. That present value. So uh, we can use the Excel spreadsheet to use the uh, to to evaluate this bond. So the example is to find the price of the bond, eight percent coupon, thirty year maturity bond with par value thousand. If R equals to ten percent, this R is Y ten equals to ten percent. Okay. So let's see this example from the Excel spreadsheet. Let's pull up the spreadsheet first. Hold on, please. Okay, so this is the Excel spreadsheet that you have actually on, on Moodle. You can also double click the Excel spreadsheet there. Um, the, the on the PowerPoint slide, uh, it's up to you, but um, probably just download a separate file uh, will be easier because I uh, add this um, tab. Uh, for each topic. So the bond pricing, uh, this is the case. The maturity 30 years, coupon rate 8%, power value 1,000, coupon payment per year, twice per year, same annual NY team, 8%. Now, what is the price of the bond? The first function we're gonna use is the price of the bond. So that price is the, the function is present value. So if you use the present value function, let's find that. The first column is the rate, which is YTM, right? Now YTM is 8%, but you have to have same annual YTM, so divide by two. N person number of periods, so how many periods we have. We have 30 years, but we also have doubled because it's a manual payment. So we have 60 payments. The PMT is the, the coupon. So we have to calculate the coupon based on the coupon rate. So coupon is coupon rate, which is the annual rate here, okay? So divide by actually the number of coupon per year times par value. That will be the coupon, the payment. And the, the future value will be the final payment future value. And you don't have to worry about this type because the type is only works uh, when the cash flow occurs at the beginning of the period. Now in this case, cash flow occurs at, at the end of the period, uh, at, at the end of the period. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, then click, oh, what is that? the problem oh yeah, yeah that's the problem so 
sorry then it's a thousand dollars oh by the way this is in the case y item is eight percent i'm sorry our item is actually was a ten percent right so, so let's change y item ten percent then the price is eight hundred ten dollars and seventy one cents okay What about y item is 5%? So if you copy paste, then you have same answers, right? And it's $1,463.63. What if it's 8%, which is same as the coupon rate, then it's a thousand dollars. Okay. So it means that it when the coupon rate is lower than YTM, then the price is lower than par value, which is discount bond. So this bond is discount. When the coupon rate is higher than YTM, then the price is higher than the thousand par value. This is premium bond. And when the coupon rate is same as YTM, then bond is par bond because of the price is same as par. So discount premium par is a characteristic of the bond. Discount bond and premium bond is just about the price, not about the quality of the bond. So you don't, you should not, you should not, you know, characterize this as a quality of the bond. It's actually just a, based on the price of the bond. Okay. So that's one way to calculate the price of the bond. Now there's another way actually. Uh, so we have this, this one and the, there's another way to calculate the bond price. So let's go to Excel spreadsheet again and see what happened. So the next tab is the bond price using the price function. Uh, instead of using the, the this TBM function, you can use the price function. Okay. And the good thing for price function is now you can actually calculate, calculate the invoice price, including the accrued interest. Okay. So suppose the settlement date is September 15, 14, Maturity date is August 1523. So we an annual coupon rate, yield to maturity. The redemption value is the par value. So it's hundred percent of the face value. The coupon payment is twice. Then you can calculate the flat flies, which is the clean price. The price, the previous, So the price is the price of the previous coupon date. So first one is settlement date. Second is maturity. Third one is rate. This is coupon rate. Fourth one is yield. Fifth one is the redemption. This is the par value. And the frequency is the final, final one. And the option is annual, same annual, quarterly, right? Frequency. And just close it. Then you have 132.7411. That's the $1,327.41. Now you can calculate the, the, the date since last coupon. So say coupe days BS. Then the first one is the B4, which is the settlement date. Second is the B5. And then third one is the two, Which one is one? So
in one day, right? So coop is first one in settlement maturity. The frequency actually we can see frequency is this one and basis frequency is the twice. And then you don't need to actually, you know, the, the base is just a, the zero, but just to say one, because the basis one means you use actual day divided by actual day, which is this case. So coup day, BS, and between, the, uh, this is the 31 days past. Then the last, uh, next one is the coup days now. This one, first one is settlement, second is maturity, third one is frequency, again, the base is just one. And 184 days, okay. And then the accrued into rest will be the coupon amount, which is the coupon rate divided by number of coupons per year times R value, right? Okay, and times days since last coupon divided by days in coupon period. Okay. So just verify that this is the same because that is the same one. So let's decrease the number of decimals for the four. Let's change the, the formats. Number function number decimals okay and then you can add flat price plus the crude interest and that will be the invoice price the price that you need to pay so this is the payment from coupon right and then and add invoice price, invoice price. I mean, you can have invoice price after that, that's all. So that's another way using the price function and the function uh, of the C-O-U-P-D-A-Y-B-S, so coup days, BS, and coup days, that's the coupon last since, uh, days since last coupon, days in between, uh, days in coupon period, and then calculate the crude interest based on our formula and they add to the flat price, then you can get invoice price, invoice price. So this flat price is usually called clean price and invoice price is called the dirty price. I don't know why, but just that they, they like this and you pay this invoice price, invoice price, okay? Sometimes this is very useful to, when you use uh, like the, the typical example. For example, if you want to value by the 30 year bonds, 8% coupons and 5% 5 per, uh, 5 coupon, say, and the 6%, uh, I'm 8% discount rate, semi-annual bonds, then you can just set settlement date 2000 January 1st and uh, the maturity date 2030 January 1st so that you, you make it you make it at uh, the 30 year bond uh, right for 30 years and let's say this coupon is like 5% so let's change to 5% coupon 30 year maturity then you can use again the price function same by the way, it doesn't have to be uppercase. You can use all lowercase. So settlement, maturity, rate, yield, redemption, and frequency. 
then this is the price 66.0648 if you want to make the eight percent coupon instead of that then just change eight then you have thousand dollars per one right if you change this 10 then you have 81.107 this is the percentage of the par value so when you get the price then you need to get 81.07 percent of par value which is 800 actually yeah 810 dollars and 71 cents right that's how to get the price how to get the price So let's go back to the slide. So what's the relation between the bond price and interest rate? So bond price basically falls as market interest rate rise. As we saw, interest rate fluctuation is primary source of bond market risk. So interest rate risk is the biggest risk. And chapter, chapter 11 talks about interest rate risk. Bond is longer maturity, more sensitive, which means if bonds are longer maturity, say 30 years versus one year, the price actually fluctuate more. See, so compare, like I'm here probably, well, from 1,000 to 810, from 1,981, which is more sensitive, 30 year one is more sensitive. So graphically, You can see this graph based on the bond price. Based on the bond price. So graphically you have the downward curve, right? Downward curve. It's a convex curve. So you have this curvature like this, okay? You already see that the bond pricing between the coupon rate, so coupon bond pricing between the coupon rate can be calculated by the invoice price equals the flat price according to rest. As you saw, we can use the price function. So you can use this table like the, I mean, Excel spreadsheet to get the invoice price as we saw in the previous uh, Excel spreadsheet, okay? So this is uh, end of the, the th second part, which is bond prices. Now third part is uh, get a bond yield.